Testing, one, two, one, two. We're at Churchill Reserve, St. Albans versus Manningham United. What do you reckon? Happy?
George, Round 7 begins in MPL Victoria on a rather chilly Friday evening at Churchill Reserve. It was a nice day across Melbourne today, but it has dipped significantly in temperature since we are set for a rather important game before the Easter break between St. Albans and Manningham United. My name is Adam Sarri-Codron. Pleased to be joining you from Churchill 
reserved a big game for both sides. It is 11 v 12 on the MPL Victoria <laughs> table. And two completely unchanged lineups for both Ryan McGuffey and George Karkalatsis this evening. The same starting 11s that we saw last weekend in goal for St. Albans will be Marco Bullich. And then from the back, Nelson Chongo, Chris Tibb, and James Rickabene. And then we have Brian Summerskill, Joey Monek, Ivan Razumich, and Joseph Kalina. And Alan Harris yet to score since coming across from Green Gully for St. Albans up front alongside Scott Bacall, the scorer in their 2-1 loss to Hume City last week, and Josh Divin as well. For Manningham United, the Giant Killers, after knocking off the champs, Avondale 3-0 last weekend. The same 11 for George Karkalatsis. It's George Damaranis in goal, followed by Marco Tavella, Dale Cole, Alex Castillo, and Daniel Scopoletti. Then we have Johnny Carter, Jose Ramirez, Giannis Georgopoulos, and Christos Theodorakopoulos through midfield. It's Ben Emerson and Robert Hardy up front. All set to go for the opening game of round seven in NPL Victoria. Lindsay here as well at Churchill Reserve. It's Puya Gardarian that's in charge of proceedings this evening. As the huddle breaks up, the Dynamo and we are just about set to get underway with Josh Divin to kick things off here. Round seven in NPL Victoria is go. St. Albans just the one win to their name so far this year. Already some early pressure here for a Colt to deal with. Nice touch to come off St. Albans here to Tavella with the throw. Quite the start. It's a life in the top flight for Manningham United. Knocking off Avondale, their second win of the season, of course. Also beating Dandenong Thunder, but here is a moment already for Bacourt to come off the post. Boy. Early drama here. It's Joey Monick to get things restarted for St. Albans. The ball in again, it's a dangerous one. Took an interesting bounce for Razumich. They can't clear out here, Manningham. At least not initially. Harding does get it away from danger. A lively start. Now we start. The Dynamo. Hey, come on. It's upside. Oh, clearing away. Good boy, Robbie. Let's go. I should have said, getting my keepers mixed up. Cole coming together with Divin. Bacor now. Alan Jerez looking to get on the score sheet for the first time since coming across from Green Gully. Just down the road, of course. Falling over at the wrong moment was Hardy. Pressure there for Bullich now. Rekha Bennett, former Avondale man, for court. This is Chongo. You got to really just stop play for the moment. Theodora Copolis for Manningham United. So they make their real first foray forward in this game. An opportune long ranger. Nothing to worry about for Bullich. Now Bennett. The long ranger. In front of the hill here. Too well populated just yet. Summer skill now. Yeah. 
Perez. He's out, man. It's a nice little meatball through, though. Divin inside the area here for St. Albans. And then the first time ball, it does take a deflection, though, off the boot of Scott McCourt. George! This is Monik. Took some heat as he disposed of the ball. This is Junior Carter for Manningham. Looping ball over the top. Everson. Dib right there with him. And safely in the end. In the gloves of Marco Bullic. This is Brian Summerskill. Over to Dib. Now Kalina. James Ricker Bennett. Monek looking to press. Lost control of it. He might get another chance though, Monek. He's ball out in the direction of Razzlemich. Didn't quite get lines up the way he would have liked it to. Kalina in the phone box and they do give away possession rather cheaply. They might get it back though, St. Albans. The first time ball from Carter. Only went as far as summer skill. Now there's some space on this left side for Alan Jerez. Makes his approach. And the goal kick is what Puyo Gardarin has called for here. Chance for a corner. Stunning result last weekend, wasn't it? 3 0 for Manningham United against Avondale. Second win of the season. Come to Impel Victoria. It's adapted rather well. Have been a little bit leaky defensively. Already a goal difference of minus eight, but. We've seen some good things. And the new boys on the block here. Two number nines go to battle. Everson on the court. It's a Vella. Nicole. All the way back to Zamoranis. Georgie Sen! Georgie Sen! Give our lines down, down, come on! Tavella. Did well to pick out Harding there, but he was keen to get it moving quickly back towards Theodora Coppolis was Harding. Summer skill. A bit too rushed, but outside his area. Well Had the time to let the ball come back in and collect it in glove. This is Dinamo's last home game for a while. Keep. We'll be back here after tonight until May 12. All of April on the road. That battle will be against South Melbourne. Of course, normally a Sunday afternoon operation here for St. Albans home games. Seeing some games under lights here. Certainly my first time here okay. under lights and a whole night like this. Mayhem obviously early in the season there. Play their home games during the day as well. What is hot days that they've played as well? It's a different dynamic for Manningham United this evening. Sean go on the outer side here for St. Albans. Just a bit deep in no Christos, rush. Christos. Christos, pick up. James Ricker Bennett. 
held as long as he could. Monek was off balance. Tavala wins back. Martin couldn't quite get it through. Summer skill wins it back for St. Albans. And now Monek again. Locks ball with Cole. Calls for handball. And Puya Gardari and just let things go for a moment. Had to think about it and then made the call. Incidental. Handball below the elbow. Now set piece opportunity coming up for St. Albans. Robbie! Nine! 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 And Chris Rick Avena over the top Nine. of this one. It's been a positive start for St. Albans this evening. It's Jerez. He goes himself. Good summer artist. Got himself behind it well. He was keen to send it out toward Ben Everson. He scored twice this year already, Ben Everson for Manningham. Did miss out in the 3 0 win against Avondale last start. Daniel Carter. Shirt pulled. One of the easy decisions for Puya Gardarian to make this evening. The foul given away. No, no. Right in I front of him. Seven to six defenders left against four attackers. Sort of gets a bit and then that's the why. Now the set piece for Manningham United here. It's a looping ball over the top. Easily collected. My bullet in the end. Manningham free kick coming up here. It's just a little bit closer than the previous set piece. It didn't amount to anything. It's Tavella currently looking to set the ball up. Safely taken once more by Marco Bulic. Given up at midfield here. Carter's first time ball, Harding. And then Ramirez. Now toward Everson. Ricky Bene gets in his way. But his line's just right there. The experience head of James Rica Bennett. Nicole. Back to Tsarmaranis. Doesn't quite get the connection he would have liked. Well played on though by Junior Carter. And then after the fact was fouled by Scott McCourt. All had cleared out. The hill starting to fill up to the left of our broadcast area. So Chongo has gone down here. And Everson helping him up. A bit of a lull in proceedings after what was a very fast start.
Another handball. This time it goes, Manningham United to wait. It's a bit happening not too far away from here. The other 7.30 kickoff, it's Melbourne Knights and Hume City. And already a goal apiece in that one. A game that kicked off same time as ours. 1-1 one, one at Summer Street. This is Bacour for the St. Albans off balance. And a wasted ball. We could call a twilight kickoff here with the sun setting to our left. It's darkened rather quickly. So we were somewhat new to night home fixtures, as we mentioned. It feels like temperature of just 12 degrees at kickoff. After what was a pretty nice day here in Melbourne today. This is George Opolis for. And the card has been busy so far. Neat little ball here. has a big chance here. Harding, it's one-on-one. -on -one and a good save is made. Bullich keeping it at nil-nil. Arguably, Robert Harding could have done more there. Big chance goes begging for Manningham United. Well, Harding maybe could have done more. All credit. To Marco Bullich in goal for St. Albans. Theodora Coppolis going down rather theatrically, but the foul is given. This would now be the third set piece opportunity for Manningham. And a couple that didn't mount to much earlier. Again, it's directed directly at Marco Bulic. And he collects easily. It was his save moments ago. That has kept this one at nil-nil so far. Quick counter. For St. Albans, it was Nazomich who was making them run. It comes unstuck once more, though. Theodora Coppolis now. Putting credit through to Everson. And now we're looking at Scott Bacor for St. Albans. The help arriving by Alan Jerez. Summer skill. Some pressure coming toward him from Harding. Something just caused a little shove and another. Free kick going Manningham United's way. Okay. This time the man that was failed was Daniel Scopoletti. Carter combining with George Opolis. Here's George Opolis once more. Not sure. That Ball four has actually executed the way he would have liked, nor was that from Jerez. That's a ward Harding once more, tightly marked on that occasion. Summer skill. The core fighting hard at midfield. Wins out. Chongo now. All the way back to Zamoranis. Castillo. Carter. Here's Castillo. So if it's not in the best condition here at Churchill Reserve, we're just seeing specks of dust come up every time a boot is dragged along the ground here. This is Carter. Especially through the middle of the pitch as well. Quite sandy out here. 
That Churchill reserve at the moment. This is Theodore Copolis. Castillo. The run being made by Savella on the right side here. Can he get to the ball? Accompanied by Bacor. Out to the car park it goes. Now Manningham's turn to press. Marco Tavella looking to go with the long ball. Harding screams off caught behind there. Danger not averted just yet for St. Albans. Now it is. Carter again is involved here. There is got the ball out away from where all the pressure was. Kalina with good vision toward Jerez. It's a neat ball, a very good ball indeed for Razumic. But he had no space to work with. Shongo, first time ball in now. Not that far away from Divin. Onto some more pressure, Manningham, but they do escape on this occasion. Harding came together with Monek. Harding emerged with the ball. Monek is still on the deck, and now that's going to be a bit too far off target for Christoph Theodorakopoulos. Monek actually clutching at his lower or upper hip here. In the abdomen. He's okay now, it would seem. Ryan McGuppy is having a conversation with the fourth official, quarter main this evening. The guard of Rian has not felt the need to make any bookings just yet. A mostly clean affair so far. That Churchill Reserve played on by Bacor. Summer skill, a bit too rushed. The conversation between Ryan McGuffey and Jock Quartermate. It's just a bit of a subdued atmosphere here so far at Churchill Reserve. The crowd's built up a little bit. Went on the attack early, Ryan McGuffey's men. Manningham have studied since. Georgeopolis out. Carter. It's Harding. We've had some space going back to Tavella. Harding had the space close in. Tavella gets the ball in now, but it's a bit too heavy. And nothing to worry about for Marco Bulic. Did make a good save earlier in his first half to deny Hardy. Mentioned there's a bit going on at Summer Street. It's now 2 1. Hume sits his way. Here's a moment. Tom Moranis just gets his hand on the ball in time. And the hill starts to pipe up a little bit here. Approaching the halfway mark of the opening period. Just passed it, actually. He has. Yanni, come on! Ramirez going to keep the ball under control. Summer skill. Just eluded him. Theodor Akopoulos was right there to just pickpocket him. Ramirez now. Another switching ball out toward Harding. That lost Joey Monek. He goes again against Monek. Monek does go down. He's had a few battles so far, Monek and Hardy. Gardaria does play the whistle now. Monek did go down a little bit late after that particular affair with Robert Hardy. Scored 
his first goal for Manningham United this year. Robert Harding last week against Avondale. Disposing. Chessmark taken at the top of the box. George Zabmaranis, quick break here. Scopoletti going down, taking some heavy contact as he did finally advance the ball. He's not getting up here, Scopoletti. That challenge a little more heavy that time. George Karkalatsis did actually for why something from the technical area, something on the lines of how is that not a card? Not seen any just yet this evening. Another free kick for Manningham United. They've had a few. And they're attacking third. Here we go again. This one just a little lower, a little shallower, but not as effective. Tabella just had to clear out as quickly as he could. Ricky Bene with Castillo closing in on him. We have our first corner of the night for Manningham United. Been pressing nicely, the Blues here. Christos Diodorakopoulos will send this ball in. Out swinging ball, kept it low. Carter then just popped it up in the air and missing the header. There's a cold. Gulich all over it. Drop, drop, drop. Summer skill for Sean Goat. Perez. Rushed in. Playing it back toward the court. Dib found himself on the back foot. Perez emerges. But again, just some tight marking from Manningham here. And they win it back once more. George Opolis. And then Carter out for Harding once more, looking to get a combination going with Everson. It's just wide. They're peppering at the moment. Oh, Manningham. Sean Go. Searching ball toward the top of the area. Ends up back with Razumic. Razumic thought about blazing away. Still might have that chance. It's blocked. By Scopoletti. Zamaranis blazing away in the direction of Everson. To be too keen to George, get a two striker. George, George, get us out at times and then go. Ben Everson found the back of the net twice this year so far for Manningham. You'd have to argue it's on Manningham's terms here at the moment at Churchill Reserve. Approaching the half hour mark. Well, Lord certainly started with the first nine or ten minutes. Multiple attacks that really put Tom Moranis under some pressure in the Manningham goal. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, got you, Kiani. Stay there, stay there. Georgopoulos. Heard the footsteps there of Razumic. Early, now, early. Frustration for Alan Jerez as the ball ran away from him. Hey, Martin, Lloyd! Yes, Ben! Yes, Ben! Yes, ben. Oh, it's going downfield. It's Ward Harding. This is Theodora Coppolis. Ramirez. Ripper goal against Avondale last week. Kanya, long ranger. And actually did force a touch there from Gulich. It's another corner. I think he was worried about the bounce. And as we mentioned, it's not in the best state, this pitch right now. The ball could bounce an awkward way. So we have got a corner. Second one of the night for Manningham. It's taken quickly. Everson. Can he find the opening? Too many blue shirts around him in the end. Ball just had to blaze it out. Temperature continuing to drop a little bit here at Churchill Reserve. while for the ball to arrive back oh, yeah. with Nelson Chongo. Oh, yeah. Has it now. They're fine, yeah? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's fine. That's deep against Everson. Back in the hands of Chongo. He's struggling to control it in the air. Does win it back though. Yeah, second effort. Back to Tsar Moranis. Scopoletti once more. Nicole. Good Marco. Castillo for Manningham. Searching ball out in the direction of Everson. Defended again by Christopher Dib. Another turnover here. Go Yanni, go Yanni, Another opportunity go on. Go on, for Manningham. It's Georgopoulos. And it did take a few touches on the way through. To Bullich in the end. Georgeopolis and now it's Everson doesn't get the angle right another big chance goes begging but Manningham United is on top here at the moment on multiple occasions Marco Bullich has been tested now the newly promoted Manningham United Blues continuing to show that perhaps they really do truly belong in the top flight of NPL Victoria Good signs here so far against St. Albans. Against St. Albans have lost it near midfield. A good tangled up here. Summer skill is involved. Michael's trying to break it up for Manningham United. Trying to confirm the other player involved here. Yeah, 
Bulic got tangled up. Both goalkeepers are in the vicinity. I thought 22 men on the pitch. Uh, surrounding Poyagata Rian so far as he looks to sort this out. Things getting a bit chippy out here. Assistant referee in having this conversation with Poyagata Rian as we speak. Now we just wait. Everyone here at Churchill Reserve just waiting. Both assistant referees now a part of this conversation. We've got Jock Quartermain is the fourth on the sidelines here as well. I wonder if the longer this goes, the more doubt there is in whatever may have happened, and we might not see anything come of it. Probably lost a minute, nearly two now, in trying to sort this out. Joey Monek knows what's going on, apparently. Some arms being directed potentially out towards Bulic. Not sure. Yellow card is shown to Brian Summerskill. After all of that. And it will be a free kick for Manningham United. Second booking for Brian Summerskill this season. That took a while to sort out. Soon we'll be back with some live action. Evil, boss man. Be Castillo to get things restarted after that delay. Up, up. <laughs> Disciplinary one, resulting in a yellow card for Brian Summerskill. Can Harding play this one towards Everson? He can, but Everson not exactly in a great position. Finds himself taking on Bacor in the one-on-one -on -one here. Then had some trouble as he ran into Ricker Bennett. We've got ourselves another corner. Touch tight! Jimmy tight! Jimmy tight! Christos Theodorakopoulos to take this corner for Manningham. Keeps it very low, too low. They just need to try to re-establish some, some control here, Dinamo. They've been on the back foot for a sustained period of time now. Here's another potential moment for Harding, getting in the way of Rick Bennett. Dip had gone down. Shongo now has it. Harding still applying the pressure, though. Still applying the, pre applying the pressure is Harding. And he might have actually won a back here. Had some help through Georgiopoulos. Shongo still going, though. Shongo never gave up on it and does eventually win out. Well done, Nelson Shongo. Monik. Another prolific earlier, Cole. Gets it away, but only as far as Razumic. Trips up, uh, inside the area. It's a penalty coming up for St. Orbans. Puyagata Rian just thought about it for a moment. And this is a big moment here. Because it's been on Manningham's terms. And St. Albans now have the golden opportunity to take the lead. <laughs> It'll be Brian Summerskill on, against George Zamoranis. Georgie, go left! Georgie, go left! Summer skill scores. It's 1 0. Bottom right. 
Zamaras actually picked the right way, but it fell under the glove. And it's 1-0 at Churchill Reserve. His third goal of the season, Brian Summerskill. Just been yellow card as well, Brian Summerskill. After that delay we had, where he did come together. I could believe Christos Theodor Akopoulos, I think it was, but can't necessarily confirm that. So now Manningham United find themselves behind, even though they've had control for large portions of this first half. John Goat. Had a good night so far, but this time gives up possession. T-Bon clean up duty for St. Albans. Lena, I think it was going down for St. Albans there. Falcor goes their way. Had a few go against them so far. This one of all, though, obviously, the penalty moments ago. Christopher Dib. Yeah, all of a sudden, St. Albans have their tails up. Scopoletti finding safety. Now the 17th goal conceded by Manningham United this season. 3-0 win. Helping their goal difference a little bit. It's now sitting at minus 9 though, despite that result against Avondale. Luca Bennett. Oh. It was in a hurry. It will be a St. Albans throat. He points out against Everson. Last touch from Junga Carter. So things are just feeling a lot more comfortable now for Ryan McGuffey's men. Approaching half time, they sit on a 1 0 lead here. The Churchill Reserve. Only the one win so far for Dinamo this year. Summer skill. Again, lost his balance. Again, I wonder if the pitch had something to do with it. Oh, he's doing weird things on this deck this evening. Mitch making another advance. Jerez has to chase it though. Alan Jerez. Last touch off Harding. Ball incoming. Give in. Couldn't make anything of it. Stib against Everson here. Dib couldn't clear it. John go in to help for St. Albans. Everson desperately trying to maintain possession. Couldn't do so. John go again. Showing out defensively. Having a good night so far. Two minutes before half time now. That's notwithstanding any stoppage time. We might get a bit more than we normally do at the end of the first half after that stoppage in play. And yellow card resulting for that man who just passed. Brian Summerskill. 
passing it out to Ward Herez on this occasion. Got caught up into the traffic with Tavella. George Opus. Everson and Scopoletti. Can't connect. Rico Bennett, last minute of regulation. Brian Summerskill from the spot. The one and only goal we've seen here so far. Plenty of chances have gone begging for Manningham. Robert Harding. Jimmy Carter as well. Missing the head up. Oh, it was a call, in fact. It was Carter. Went looking out to Ward Everson. Chongo kept his points. Really having a good first half. Razzle Mitch now. Stilio will get two additional minutes here. As a Cole tried to advance to Vela. This is Harding. Good. Good chat. Theodora Coppolis. That's sort of the boot ball. Couldn't thread it through to Jose Ramirez. Tonko goes down, and Theodora Coppolis thought he was out. He's not happy. That's a yellow card for descent. And guess what? It's a second yellow and a sending off. Christos Theodorakopoulos, who saw the first yellow come after he tangled up with Brian Summerskill, is now out of the game here. Things go from bad to worse for Manningham after things look so promising. Only about 10 or so minutes ago, early shower. Christos Theodorakopoulos. Very animated after the foul was given by Puya Gardarian. That's a second yellow. It sees Christos Theodorakopoulos done for the night. Wow, things have turned rather quickly at Churchill Reserve. And a huge advantage now for a team looking for just their second win of the season in St. Albans. They have the man advantage. And now it's Robert Harding finding himself in some bother. Got up rather quickly though. The two minutes that we did have, one were truly up. Play continues though. Good Samaranis looking and assessing his options. That ball nearly bounced exactly how it needed to for Ben Everson. And that's the end of a rather eventful first half here. It was St. Albans out of the blocks, attacking early. Couldn't capitalise though. Then Manningham took control. Multiple missed chances for them. And then we had a penalty. Brian Summerskill scoring, scoring from the spot in the 34th minute. And about 10 minutes later, Christos Theodorakopoulos already on a yellow for Manningham United. A second yellow for descent. Saw him sent off. And it's a 1 0 lead for St. Albans at half time against Manningham United here at Churchill Reserve. Stay with us, plenty still ahead.
coming from St Albans at half time. St Albans one, Manningham nil.
Welcome back to Churchill Reserve. Rather eventful first half here between St. Albans and Manningham United. It's St. Albans 1 and Manningham United nil. Manningham down to 10 men. No more Christos Theodorakopoulos. And the goal was via the penalty spot. Brian Summerskill in the 34th minute. He has been subbed off at halftime. Michael Grigic is now out there for St. Albans. Come on! A rather solid shift. Not only included the goal, but a yellow card as well for Brian Summerskill. In the first half, that for large portions was actually played on Manningham's terms, but now they find themselves down a man and down on the scoreboard. Multiple chances gone begging throughout the first half, some solid goalkeeping by Marco Bullich to maintain his clean sheet so far. Chongo had a great first half as well as he gets involved here. Now toward Razumic. He gets the new man out there. He's actually now got the captain's arm down as well, Marco Bullich. Nelson Chongo had a great first half. Before Grigic. Divin was involved as well. Chongo sent the ball in. Backtracking is Jerez. St. Albans ball. Rigic has a bounce, just runs away from him. That goal was there in the way. Chongo now for Dinamo. Searching ball in. That goal again up to the task. And fell to Kalina, played back toward Joey Monet. And he wins the corner. I do believe the first corner of the night for St. Albans. Right, my counts. Drop in. Oh, it's actually gone in. It's been tipped in by George Samaranis. We have a second goal for St. Orbitz. It was a very, very direct ball in. Samaranis trying to tip it over the crossbar, tipped it under the crossbar, and it's 2 0 St. Albans. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's come apart quickly for Manningham. George Samaranis 
tipping it into his own net. And it's 2 0. Now 18 goals conceded in just six and a half games so far for Manningham. And they're under real pressure now. Joey Monick. St. Auburn's just the one win so far. They'll be looking to pile it on from here. Perez. Playing lost the ball in the end. Everson. Things all that more desperate now for Manningham. They're chasing the game and they're outmanned as well. There's a neat little touch there by Scalpelletti. Everson tries to feed it through to Harding. No man up front, Harding on that occasion. Scalpelletti gets taken down. And a set piece opportunity now coming up for Manningham. It was Christos Diodorakopoulos who was sent off. A second yellow. Shown his way late in the first half. That's why they're down a man. Brian Summerskill was on a yellow. He was subbed out at halftime. Jose Ramirez wanted to get things moving quickly to combine with Junior Carter. Boy, Carter wasn't ready. So, they had a lot of set pieces in the first half. Manningham didn't really make much of those. Wasted opportunities there. This one is in a slightly more dangerous position for Jose Ramirez. Come on, attack this, attack it! So Manningham United get one back. Where you go, really just setting that two-man wall for St. Albans. Ramirez out the back. It was Carter, I think, getting the shot away. There was no trouble for Marco Bullich. Jopolis, Ramirez, Everson. Yeah. It's taken down and another penalty has been given away here. Didn't look like there was a hell of a lot in it, but enough for Puyo Gautarini to point to the spot. Not too long after going down 2 0, a chance to get one back for Manningham United. And it'll be Ben Everson versus Marco Bullich. There's two goals to his name so far this year. Ben Everson. Bullich has had a good night so far. And that continues. He saves the penalty. He has been outstanding, Marco Bullich. Not the best penalty you'll ever see taken by Ben Everson. Things just getting from bad to worse for Manningham now. Grigic as they look to counter here Dinamo Nakol desperately sending it skyward they be giving the man of the match honours to Marco Bullich so far here on multiple occasions he's been called upon. And on multiple occasions he's delivered in goal. He's kept the clean, clean sheet. So, half the corner. St. Orbits, James Ricky Bennett, in no particular rush to come over. 
It's all happening at Churchill Reserve at the moment. Currently holding on to a 2-0 lead, the last corner which came from the other side. Resulted in George Tartmaranis tipping it into his own net. Akol can't quite clear out. They'll keep on pressing St. Albans. Rico Bennett, not a great first touch. Second touch more measured though for the court. Now back or again. The cross in was blocked. What he did do was win another corner. James Ricker Benner again for Dynamo. Rigic was the one that had the opportunity. Didn't quite fall his way though. Everson looking to make amends for the missed penalty. Zamoranis now. Michael. Ramirez. Monarch against Everson. Falls Everson's way. Struggling to keep it under control as Jerez was there to pressure him. Grigic coming on at half time, replacing Brian Summerskill. Scorer of the first half penalty. Ricky Bennett. Central ball out in the direction of Divin. Chance now for McCourt. Monet, first time ball in. Too far in front of Divin. McCall there to meet it for Manningham. Junior Carter now. Everson had a man on. Needed some help. One more, Carter one more, one more. Ramirez has some space. Long ranger. Well and truly off target. It's pull off for the hill to get going. They're in some good form now. I'm certainly pleased with the Marco Bullich save from the penalty kick moments ago. We'll clear out here. Not only with the penalty save, but two or three others as well throughout the first half. Had a one-on-one -on -one against Robert Harding. And he got a glove too. Giving away possession rather cheaply. Johnny Carter, he won't take the throat. To Bella Will. under a bit of pressure here the throw took a while to get back to him beat out rather quickly here's another chance though for Manningham United it's Ben Everson the man that missed the penalty makes his approach sends it in now and just a bit too high for Jose Ramirez a couple inches lower and it would have been a certain goal for Manningham Nearly came off there for George Opolis. Running the other way though is Josh Divin. Alan Jerez. <laughs> Top of the area taken down. Kalina. <laughs> and the best free kick chance yet coming up for St. Albans. <laughs> and 
Joey Kalina taken out. He might take his free kick himself. Another big moment coming up here. The St. Albans look to make it 3 0. Michael Grigich, she'll be the taker. Got through the wall. Didn't have it on target. Scott already for Manningham. Metropolis, Ramirez, let it go. Regained by Scopoletti. Being pretty tightly marked and eventually winning out Razumich. For St. Albans, had trouble getting past John Yakata though. Rodopoulos had a little combination here with Scopoletti. This is a cult. Carter, Ramirez. Everson with the turn. Harding, good chance here for Manningham. It was too direct, though. And yet again, Marco Bullic up to the task in goal for St. Albans. He'll take some beating from out of the match on his way. He's been able to keep his sheet clean so far. Two thirds of the way through here at Churchill Reserve. A 2 0 lead for the hosts. It's their last game at home for a while. South Melbourne in the middle of May, the next time they'll be here at Churchill Reserve. It's four away, of course. No games over Easter in NPL Victoria. Battle will be away at the village, Honolulu United, in a fortnight's time. And then trips to Paisley Park, Altona Magic, Oakley, and Zanzi Thunder to St Albans. Birmingham United will be hosting Melbourne Knights in a couple of weeks from now. Just an awkward one there again. Samaramas. Samaramas, I should say. Everson. Outmanned. That will happen a lot now with Manningham down to 10 men. The numbers one out for Dynamo. Chongo. First time ball's a good one. Perez sending it in. Not that far away from Divin. Not having the right read on it. Ramirez can't connect with Everson. Bullich was clearing out quickly. It's coming back his way. Sees it go past. Again, that ball was the way it collected a bit of dust on the way through. This pitch is not in great condition. A lot of dust and potentially sand being kicked up by the players out here. A good freshen up Churchill Reserve with the next four fixtures for St. Albans being on the road. This kind of two months break. Uh, we're going to have here. Rajopoulos going down. Perez emerging. No one near Razumich though. Bit more tempo in this game at the moment. Bit more urgency from Manningham United. Good look at 2-1 with that penalty missed by this man, Ben Emerson. First time ball coming in from Scalpelletti now. Well, couldn't quite clear out. Johnny Carter now. Trying to spin and turn into the area. Had no help. Cole. 
Castillo. Georgopoulos. Searching ball out wide. Chance for Harding now playing back toward Everson. They fell! They fell! Russell Mitch up against Scopoletti. Superb, Scopa! That's a foul. That's a foul. Ramirez taking a touch. That's the Russell Mitch, and that's what the foul was for on that occasion. It's really slow to get up. Disagreement between Puyagana Rian and Christopher Dipp. What looks at as to where this ball should be taken. Brickage involved in that conversation as well. Nelson Chongo had a good first half in particular. Dip in Grigic. Carter winning back for Manningham. Ramirez. Dispossessed was George Opolis Grigic there on clean up duty. But he gave it up. Hakol has been sturdy defense for Manningham United. Ramirez, a neat little ball here for Ben Everson. Pressure coming from Backall. It stayed in. Everson. Backall having none of it. Throwing in the towel here, Manningham. Lady really directs ball. And blazing away was Tavella. George, are we able to grab a few seats, guys? I'm fine if we stand like right back in the box, but hey. a moment for Harding perhaps can he keep it on side he needs some help Ramirez providing that coming in very late to kill it off Monek doing well Manningham ball Johnny Georgopoulos who isn't getting any help from, from the St. Albans supporters over defence. Now the ball does come back in. So the corner quickly taken. Ramirez there with Georgeopoulos one way than the other. Now sends it in. Akol's at the back post. He plays back. Chongo, Akol, Carter. A little back here. There's still a chance here perhaps. Harding tries to play back. Georgeopoulos is in there. Ball pinballing around the area. Sean goes foul. Key saves, including one from a penalty kick. Marco Bullich so far this evening. They stopped there just as Jim Carter had emerged with possession. Many handball anyway. 
Harding as they look to press. Hart's a good first touch. Oh, it's a beautiful finish. Some class from Robert Harding. And it's 2-1 at Churchill Reserve. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, how lovely was that first touch to set it up. Robert Harding makes it 2-1. Well, they've approached things. Manningham in his second half. But this one's not over yet. If not, they are down a man. And they keep on attacking Ramirez. Carter. Wants to weave and thread his way through. Grigic takes some heavy contact. Play continues, though. Out on the other side here. Desperate defending. It has gone out. And it will be a corner. Michael Grigic, who came in as a sub at the start of his second half, is in a fair bit of pain here. It'll be a little while till we see this corner taken. Grigic gets up on his feet now. It looks like he might be okay. May have a nasty gash inside. Around his right calf, he's looking to run it off. Meanwhile, George Karkalatz is getting some substitutes ready for Manningham. James Tauntas, who did score against Avondale last week, will be one of those by the looks of things. Right now, we've got a corner for St. Albans. Last time there was a corner from this spot, it resulted in an own goal. Grigic. Back up and fit, sending the secondary ball in. Monek will retrieve here. Third time in. Straight into the hands of George Samaranis. So there will be at least one change coming up here. Go, go, go! Ramirez lets it through to Everson. Can they find an unlikely equaliser here? Everson, little touch from Ramirez. Everson again got closed in upon. Scopoletti, the outlet. If Everson wants to use him, not sure he knew he was there. Chongo got involved as well for St. Albans. Carter regains it once more. Ramirez, Everson, Ramirez. Harding at the back post. Plays back, but no one there. Still a chance, though. There's an enterprising effort. But nothing coming of it in the end for Manningham. Next one, next, next out. Go day, go day. It was Georgopoulos who tried to make something happen. Double changes coming up now for Manningham. Scopoletti for Akal. It'll be James Tuntis and Tom Golding coming on for the visitors. Castillo. Here's Georgeopolis. Akal. Plenty of time, lad! Plenty of time! Come on! Yeah, 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 let's try! Some nervous times here for St. Albans at the moment. Things were pretty comfortable. Up to Neil and Upper Man. Now the lead is looking awfully shaky for Dynamo. Joey Monek making a strong run here. Looks to thread the ball in the direction of Alan Jerez. Stern defending once more from the men in red. Ironically called the Blues. Manningham United in the red away kit. Everson working hard. He's done his best to make amends for the missed penalty. 
in the early stages of this second half. He gets dispossessed here. It's Barco. Showing some patience. And looking to combine with Razo Mitch. His first time ball was a dangerous one. Akel was there with him. Now Manningham United want to press once more. It's a high tempo approach that we're seeing. And George Kakalets is so far in this second half. Harding hasn't run away from him. He might get it back though, Harding. And here's another chance. It's Harding. It's Marco Bullich. And it's a corner for Manningham United. Jordan and Tunts is still waiting to come on, by the way. Just below us. Steve Ramirez to take the corner. And they find an unlikely equaliser. Jose Ramirez. Nicole playing back in. They call for corner. Puya Gardarian says goal kick. And finally, we have the double sub. And the fourth official on board is actually a bit defective here. So we just have to. Use our own eyes here. It's Marco Tavella. And Ben Everson. Who make way for James Tuntis and Tom Golding. And some attacking moves there. From George Karkaletis as he chases this game. Looks like we're not far away from seeing Adam Hodor as well. For St. Albans. It's rather delicately, delicately poised here. We'll see Adam Hodor shortly to St. Albans. James Ricker Benna to take this free kick. Just feels like St. Albans need a safety score here at the moment. Ricker Benna's ball is not a bad one. Perez took, him, took some contact at the top of the area. Another set piece coming up for St. Albans. Michael Grigic took a free kick from this spot earlier in the second half. That was off target. It's pretty much exactly the same spot this time around. And he's the man that will look to take it. By the looks of things here. Looking to restore a two-goal buffer for St. Albans. Alan Jerez, a man who was fouled, placing the ball down. So, Alan Jerez, directly at George Sabaranis. Rigic winning it back for St. Albans. Back on now. But Scopoletti is there as well in the Manningham shirt. One in the air by Kalina. Going to Grand Georgeopolis, wanting a foul. No call forthcoming. John Yakata. Look at the space here for Golding. Golding, can he find a way through? Right behind it is Marco Bullich. Go, go, 
It's all that attack. Hey, can't go, go, Time as well. Play, play. Uh, Manningham at the moment. Golding. Hey, oh, came in. Whose ball is it? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh, oh, oh. We'll be St. Orbits. <laughs> oh, still waiting to come on, by the way. Oh, now he does come on. And Nelson Chongo had a good defensive outing this evening. Yeah, from the Congo DR. So Hodor with the throw, the new man out there. Zamoranis. Man on now, man on. Razovic. Stay, 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 stay. Hold in the hole. Hold in the hole. Nicole clearing out. Inside the final 10 minutes of regulation. 2-1. In favour of St. Albans. Golding on the right side of Hodor here. Come on, Tommy. Just flushed the crossing ball in. Far too wide, and nothing coming of it. <laughs> Expect to see some rather elaborate time wasting tactics here. Come on, Ian. Come on, boy. I'm I'm saying saying the now. Come on. George Parkalitis and his support staff certainly trying to make Foyer Gard Arena aware of it. Only had free kick here. As they chase this game. Down a man and down a goal. Just runs away from Johnny Carter. Ball out of direct, out in the direction of Razumich. Looking to keep his feet. Lost, lost out though. Ramirez. Long range ball. Now towards Tuntis. Tuntis still. Ricky Bennett gets in his way. We have a corner. Closest Manningham man to it. It's cleared away. Razovic taking down Carter. Fair challenge according to Puya Garda Riyad. Just calling for your gutter and over. There's going to be a yellow card shown into the technical area here. It's one of the subs for Manningham United that's been yellow carded here. There will be a change in all of this. Max King's looking to come on for St. Albans. He's slowly making his way off is Ivan Razumich. Yeah, yeah, it's what All the while, time keeps ticking. We've had multiple stoppages in this game. King now on for Razumic. Limping off in the end. Just a little worse for wear. Tough old shift for Ivan. Oh, oh, Turns it over, Harding quickly, Ramirez, still Ramirez, just not 
quite in front of him. Ricky Bennett desperately getting boots a ball for St. Albans. Another flashpoint here, and look how far outside the area Marco Bullich was, and he actually got he's dropped the his ball. hands on the, he's ball. the ball. He's dropped the ball. He's dropped the ball and picked it up. Hey, 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 he's dropped the ball. He's picked up the ball. He's dropped the ball. He's dropped the ball. He's dropped the ball. up once more for Manningham United. Play is going to stop once more. Jock Quartermain's calling for your guard to read over. It is all happening across both technical areas at the moment. Here got a rear now. It looks like it will be a free kick here. What number was on there? It's an indirect free kick by the looks of it. Watching it live, it didn't seem obvious to me that there had been a back pass there. Will be an indirect free kick. 100% quarter. He dropped for Manningham United. Had it all here tonight. I don't think it'll be anything like what we saw. I think it was back in round one. Had it stands it on. Team City. Don't know if it does need to be two touches. Before any shot is fired away. Ramirez does have the ball blocked. And we've got a corner now. After all of that. George, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going, man? This feels like this one's not going to end at 2 James, 1. Get it! Another corner bounced away from Hardy. Castillo foul going St. Albans way. And an opportunity just to wipe away some more time. The Dynamo, they're clinging onto this lead. Rush ball by George Zamoranis. George. George. Remember. What? The mic. Yeah, yeah. Work with me, please. Nice, maybe a couple of extra yards there on the Carter. Stop her! Stop her! Castillo from Manningham. Get the forward! Forward, drive, drive, drive! Two and a half minutes left in regulation. Tuntis, Scopoletti, Ramirez had a big second half. Tuntis now, got a little shove there from Grigas. He sends the ball in, and Junya Carter had a golden opportunity to equalise. Say it again. I don't think this one ends at 2 1. Well, McGuffey will be more than happy if it does. He just has that feeling at the moment. Back up. Monarch. Back up. Come on! Come on! Messed around a bit too much there, St. Albans. Manningham, understandably, want to get things moving quickly. 
Just over a minute left in regulation now. The number of minutes added on will be key for Manningham. Scopoletti. Robbie, got a show! Tauntes first time touch was good to get around Hodel. Hodel thought maybe it had gone out. Tauntes goes down just outside the area. And a yellow card is shown to Hodel. Just inches from being inside the area. Tauntes still down. The hill's getting restless here, understandably. Things were looking pretty comfortable. Earlier in the second half for St. Albans, Tauntes needs some medical attention. We're reaching the end of regulation. Exactly how much longer will Manningham be given at the end of the 90? So Hordes, Hordes number goes into the book. We've had a sending off tonight in the first half. Christos Diodorakopoulos seeing two yellows got sent off right before the halftime break. Manningham have been down to 10. They've broken even in this second half. of the balls as we get set for this free kick. Jose Ramirez again will be the man. Suspecting there'll be four additional minutes added on here. That's confirmed now. It'll be Ramirez. It'll be over the crossbar after all that. And so now four more minutes for St. Albans to claim the three points. I don't want to give Manningham United any more chances. They've been dangerous this evening up front. On multiple occasions, Marco Bullich has been called upon. He saved a penalty and made other key saves as well. They could prove the difference. They need these minutes to waste away quickly. Dynamo. Albans will have a free kick here. There'll be no rush to take it. Up on his feet now, Alan Jerez. Argentinian back up on his feet and Grigic taking the free kick. Macor will head toward the corner flag here. Get the throw on, get the throw on, get the corner. It's a goal kick. Next man on for St. Albans will be Nicholas Mori. He scored twice another 23 level for St. Albans so far this year. And he'll get a look at senior level now. Yeah, the clock stops, right. So Maury will come on for Josh Divin. A bit of a frustrating night for him. Hasn't had great looks in front of goal. So Moranis now. The long range Grigic there to meet it. Damaranis finds himself outside his box. Goes over the head of John Yakata. Trying to regain was Kalina, but he did give away possession in the process. Searching ball in and falling over the top of it, Marco Bulic. So there were four minutes allowed. Three of those have expired. Joey Monek who's slow to get up at the moment. Probably still get a minute, maybe a minute and a half left of play. Point of has 
Nice little ball here. Marco Bullic will just blaze away as far as he can. St. Albans on the verge of their second win of the season. Lena getting a little touch there. Ramirez and lovely ball through to Harding though, the man that, whose goal kept Manningham United in this game. Tuntis not getting the right to the touch on the ball. The goal face was left exposed momentarily. Safely out for a goal kick. If you're of the Dynamo persuasion. The number on the fourth official's board was four. We're about to tick past five and we're still going. Marco Bulic to clear out once more. Boya Gutterian not putting the whistle to his mouth just yet. And here's the new man out there in King. Keep playing the corner. Keep playing out. again for the corner flag. Nice touch off Akko. No sign of Puyo Gardarini even looking at the watch at the moment. It's a goal kick. Last chance saloon now for Manningham. Zamoranis going long and direct out in the direction of Harding. It's quite the goal that he did score to keep Manningham in it. Janya Carter. Golding. Outmanned. They are down a man. Manningham have been for the entirety of the second half. And that is it. St. Albans have gotten the job done here. And boy, did they have to earn it. Manningham fighting hard. Constantly on the attack in the second half. Down to 10 men for the entirety of the second half. St. Albans have held on for the win here. It was Brian Summerskill from the spot. And an own goal by George Samaranis as a result of a corner. Robert Harding getting the one and only goal for Manningham this evening. And St. Albans have scored their second win of the season. Quite the entertaining affair on a Friday night here at Churchill Reserve. I hope you enjoyed it at home. St. Albans get the win over Manningham by two goals to one.